Hello, everybody, and welcome or welcome back to Luck Be Landlord, the roguelike slot machine draft thing game, but modded, though. We're going to be checking out the Luck Be a Champion mod, which is a full-on Pokemon overhaul mod. Replaces all of the symbols in the game with different Pokemon that have wild effects based off of, you know, the, the typing that they're strong or weak against. So, basically... If they're by another symbol that they're strong against, they get twice as much value. If they're by something they're weak against, they get half value. So it's kind of about having a nice balance of things that are good against others and things that are, uh, you know, bad. So for now, I guess I'll go with Goldeen because after 33 spins, it'll evolve into Sea King, which gives bonus adjacent value if it's by an electric type, which actually could be kind of fun could have that be our our plan go for water and electric uh voltorb turns into electrode which gives six coins but it has a 50 percent chance to give none whatever let's do it uh but in order for this to work we need to have these five symbols in the deck still unfortunately that's just kind of it's just an unfortunate truth uh that you need gyarados is going to give us... It's a water flying type. So if we go for electric and water, that actually seems pretty good, right? Adjacent normal types give minus one, but make this Pokemon get plus two. And it's a fake dragon. I'll, I'll go for Magikarp. It sounds good. But previously, we weren't able to uh, make this work. Oh boy. Sorry, there's just a lot going on here. We got Magnemite. Another electric type. Weakness to ground does not reduce this Pokemon's typing or this Pokemon's coin value. But uh, yeah, previously we couldn't use this because Vanilla Be Gone was broken and made the game crash all the time. Uh, but thankfully, Beast257, user, thank you, uh, helped figure out what exactly was going on. And you do need to have some symbols on. One of them is coin and you need some items. So if you see coin, just pretend it doesn't exist. If the game crashes, if it's not in there. And then also there's a couple item placeholders that are in. Uh, ride on. Another option. For kind of like, it's good against electric. So what are we trying to buff up? That's kind of what we need to think about. I think we want to buff up the electric types, which means we don't want that, which means we want Spiro maybe? Who is a flying type who's weak to electric? I think let's go for that. Tortoise in the hair is just... A base game symbol. This is not uh, Vanilla Begon's problem. So we have Light Egg, which costs 40 and gives you a Flying type. Or Metallic Egg, that costs 80 and gives you a Steel type. Interesting. How many Steel types are in Generation 1? Isn't it? Besides Magnemite, who else is Steel in Gen 1? Is there anyone who got retroactively turned into a Steel type? I can't remember. Sand Slash turns... Okay. In, uh, sand veil plus one for adjacent ground type. I'm not sure. We have the flying type going on here. The flying type is good against the bug. Oh boy, a howdy. I guess I'll take the sand shrew for now. Because I don't want to skip too many things. Krabby into Kingler. Gains the type effectiveness of bug, but not its weaknesses. Jackpot Meowth gives three, randomly gives up to three more. I mean, that could be fine too. I mean, I don't know what randomly means. That could mean, that could mean anything. Let's just give ourselves food for the electric types. We'll take another Magnemite. It seems really good. Like, it can completely ignore ground type bonuses as well. Krabby. No, look at some of these. Adjacent flying types give one less, but this gives two more. Evolves into Beedrill. Weaknesses don't reduce this Pokemon's value. Interesting. But yeah, they will evolve after they get spun a certain amount of times. Like coal, if you will. Ooh, Pikachu turns into Raichu, which gives times two per adjacent electric type. I, I'm liking the idea of that. Electric and water, mostly focusing for Goldeen if we can find it. Ground type. Is that, what, grass type? Is that supposed to be, like, a little sprout? I think so. Fairy type. I, I just feel like, no. 
it's kind of interesting that the yeah the items are sort of replaced with oh i love this pokemon actually there's kind of a new pokemon that's sort of like that zubat gives times two when adjacent to other zubats i mean that's an angle but i feel like we're probably already making bank on some some spins uh 20 chance to give three times as much adds a weakness to dragon Dugong could be okay. It, it also... This gives two at a base. I mean, am I going to really use the ice buffs, though? I don't know. Maybe what? Like, Lapras could have ice. How many Gen 1 types have ice? Not that many. There's definitely some. I'll take Horsey for now. Bulbasaur! Are you good, my my boy? I feel like I need to take you just because I love Bulbasaur. Adjacent grass types gain an extra one. Evolves into Ivysaur. Same sort of deal. Oh, I don't want him. Why is this bright green? It looks like a, it looks like the shiny. My boy ain't blue. Zubat is honestly better though. That's That's the thing that's kind of a bummer. Well, I'll take Bulbasaur. If we can get more more Bulbasaurs, I'll be happy. But I doubt it. Magnemite. I just want to take out uh, like a bunch of stuff so that when we get our removals, Voltorb, sure. When we get our removals, we'll get rid of these five and we'll have extras still. We are making so much bank. Execute, Meowth, Machop. Evolves into a Machamp with a Link Cable, I can only assume. Slowpoke. I could. I feel like we have sort of limited space in a way, though. I didn't... Oh, I wish I took the other seal now. Fine. Resurrects Fossils. Fighting type, Psychic type. I'll, I'll resurrect some fossils. You know what? Get rid of this garbage. Get rid of it. I don't care that we're running an empty. This is Pokemon. I ain't... I don't want to run freaking coins. All right, fine. There's the other seal. Having multiple seals could be okay. Like, truthfully, it probably won't matter. They're going to be tanked to oblivion. Flying is weak to electric. We'll take the Spearow. Just 32. Magnemite. Weakness to ground doesn't reduce this Pokemon's... Uh, coins. I mean, hey. I don't know. It seems good to me. Boop, boop. Goldine! Goldine, Goldine. Goldine, Goldine. So we're now at a weird point. We're overflowing. We have three removals. We're overflowing if we take one more thing. What would we remove? Probably Sandshrew? Probably Sandshrew. I mean, I think theoretically we want to remove everything that's not Goldeen. <laughs> kind of <laughs> funny enough. Or uh, Magikarp. Gyarados is going to be nice. That's going to be a four times multiplier. So we want to skip all these. Otherwise, we might crash some stuff. There's an argument for Seal as well. But if it's going to get half value... Every time it gets zapped by an electric type, that's not even going to matter. Weakness to fire doesn't reduce this Pokemon's value. Uh, there's the Raichu. Old Amber. Oh, it turns into Aerodactyl. Uh, rock Flying. It's not that good with what we have, though. Old Gyarados. That coin shows up a lot. It, it's, it is a shame that it's required for non-crashitude. Vulpix turns into nine tails. Type effectiveness of psychic, but not its weaknesses. There's the Raichu. 36. Let's go. Oh, Mr. Redwine. Type effectiveness of ground, but not its weaknesses. 
Wait, that's kind of interesting, actually. Wait, that's kind of good. Kind of? That's kind of good for um, for Magnemites, because it's good against the Magnemite, but doesn't reduce the Magnemite's value, and the Magnemite is good against it, so it remain neutral for what it's worth. That's actually not bad. I don't know. It's tough to keep track of what we should do. I'm going to say no. Type effectiveness of fighting increased by 50%, but weaknesses also. Oh, my. That seems good, though. That seems worth doing. All right. I'll take another Dodo Duo. We really need to remove some stuff, though. Geodude. Don't know what uh, what they'll do. Gives 1.5 times when adjacent to fire, electric, or poison. Is that guts? That's guts. Love it. Um. Heh. Heh. Got an Ivysaur. We got a Fero. Stand true in one spin here. Uh, times two per adjacent Nidoran. Yeah, it's sad, but we'll probably not want the Venusaur or Ivysaur. Holy crap, the balance of this mod is out of whack. Hmm. Squirtle. I feel legally obligated. Gives one removal per spin. Excuse me? That's incredible. It's busted for the base game, but maybe not for this. Adjacent ghosts get plus one. I mean, hey, now that we have uh, we have removals out the wazoo, we can we can be a little bit more uh, specific. Uh, Magikarp is incredible. Let's get rid of. Yeah, I love Sand Slash, but we're gonna get rid of you. What are we doing now? Thirty twos on those. Ivysaur is hitting a thirty two. I mean, he's good against water as well. He's just also weak against flying, which we have some of. Maybe we get rid of the uh, Spiros and Firos next. Let's get rid of the Spiro. Where? There. Horsey could probably go... Magikarp's good. Aye, aye, aye. Oh, this is chaos. I guess, like, we don't need the Vault Orbs. I just... Feels fun. Eh. Rip. Just thinking long term here. Not, not that we need to, because we're making so much money. Tentacool gives two times when adjacent. Another swarm. Uh, Rapidash. Times two. Ooh, times two per adjacent fire. That actually would be a lot of fun. Don't know what you do. I do like the PC item. Just the fact that it exists and you can just play uh, to your heart's content. Remove and get exactly what you want. These magic... I love that Magikarp is sort of a placeholder for, like, coal. We want to skip these. Magmar. Adjacent mystery eggs. Hatch. Interesting. I'm going to say no. Destroys itself if you have a Lapras, Jinx, and Vaporeon. Adds Articuno. Hmm. I mean, it's cool. Like, I'll grab it because, like, I'm probably not going to make that happen anyways. Unfortunately, we should remove the Krabby, but I want to see him turn into Kingler. 196! Don't know, don't know. Yeah, I wish we could see what the final evolve does. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Got our Magneton there. Let's just spin and pay attention. Who's doing well here? 56. Whoever does well is just the person that's kind of in the middle of the, the chaos. 
Another Magnemite's a good call. I think I'm going to get rid of the Horsey. Technically, we should get rid of that Squirtle. It's... I don't know. Uh, the Raichu's not bad. I think I'm happy to have that. Truthfully, the Krabby and the Kingler should... Eh. Maybe the thing is... Honestly, I think we have too many Magnetons. Right? Now that I think about it, I think I just removed one that was like really close to evolving, but... Technically, we want more food. That's a weird thing to think about. We want more food than actual buffers. Adjacent dark types get plus one. What dark types are in Gen 1? What got dark type retroactively in Gen 1? I'm so confused. Am I out of my mind? There must be one, otherwise that makes no sense. Another seal. All right, now now that I have, I've seen the light, yeah, I think that that probably makes more sense. 256! You wild son of a gun! Jinx? I mean, we did need Jinx for that this if we want it. But we also need Lapras, who seemed like a very rare. I'll grab you. Placeholder. Does nothing, worth nothing, take literally anything else before this. Yeah, that's the placeholder so that the game doesn't crash. <laughs> I wish it didn't have to be that way, but hey, apparently it does. And thankfully, I just don't want anything anyways. Let's see the Venusaur and then probably remove him. Maybe? I mean, if all the stuff is... Um, I don't know. We could have we could have Venusaur. If we remove the Doduos, we could do Venusaur just fine. What was I gonna remove? What was I gonna remove? Kingler. Love Kingler. Alright. A thousand! Eevee! We do need Eevee for Vaporeon for that uh, that special unlock. Overgrow adjacent grass gives plus one. Adjacent bugs gain plus one. I mean, that's nice. That seems like a fun thing to have in those builds. 512. The balance is whack, dude, though. It's so... <laughs> Busted. Shelter. The effectiveness of a rock, but not its weaknesses. We actually actively don't want that. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, the fact that the Sea King is actually... Um, eh, we should save for when we get the, the rare poles, right? Who knows what's coming up? Ekans, we haven't seen that. Adjacent normal types give minus one, but make this Pokemon give twice as much. Eh. About to hit another, uh, another Gyarados, which is a four times multiplier. Truthfully, should probably go. Or get rid of the Do Duos. Let's get rid of a Do Duo. I know that it'll be like technically good against it. It just won't really matter. That's the thing that's kind of funny about the balance of this mod. It's like only one thing matters, and that's like. Hey, skip, skip. I guess maybe we. I don't know. I'm afraid that it'll break things. Gains the type effectiveness of poison, but not its weaknesses. That actually sounds like it could be really fun. 
type effectiveness of dark type, but not his weaknesses. It's almost like maybe it was like set up to be ready to take in eh, ready to take in like a new generation or something. Oh, got double Dugong. How do we get two at the same turn? We must have just not spun some a couple times. Yeah, I think I've seen the error of my ways. The trio. See, how much you give? How much do you give? That'll explain whether or not we should care about you. None. Probably, like, it's irrelevant then, I would say. Right? Hey, get, give me two. I was going to say, it's probably going to be mostly irrelevant. Goldine is the way, though. Goldine is life. I'm going to remove that. Though, again, probably should remove some Magnemites instead. Truthfully, we're looking for, like, one one Magnemite and a bunch of Gyarados. Magnet, uh, or whatever. You know what I mean. Bup, 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 bup. Magneton. Magikarp. I mean, we have the, the two things that I really don't want just because I'm trying to fit that. Yeah, fine. Technically, because we want one to be surrounded by a bunch of things. Holy crap. So, does the, the Raichu must be getting the times two afterwards? Right? That, that messes things up for me. Huh? I don't know. I cannot compute. Don't know when it's getting that times two. Yeah. I mean, whoever gets the most is just who happens to be in the middle. It's pretty much the whole plan. Whole deal. Normal types give minus one, but make this Pokemon give plus two. Kangaskhan is just worth ten. Another Bulbasaur is very interesting. But Bulbasaur is not going to get a four times multiplier against anybody. Right? Adjacent ground and rock types both get plus one. I mean, that's really good, but Snorlax. Adjacent normal types give three X. I mean, just full build of Snorlax. Hello. That'd be fun. Type effectiveness of fighting, but not its weaknesses. I mean, none of these are unfortunately like useful for us. Okay. For science, we're like, we don't need to worry about the money. I just want to see, like, there's not that many ice types in the game. We could possibly get a Lapras out of that. There's, like, there's what? There's, I'm trying to think. So, Jinx is ice. Uh, Dugong is ice. Who else is ice in Gen 1? Cloyster. Okay. I'm not anticipating we're going to actually get it then. So we have to spin 10 times to hatch the egg. Yeah, I guess we don't need another Magnemite. Do want another Magikarp, though. Sorry, sorry, you just evolved. Bye-bye. But yeah, we get four times... Four times effectiveness against um, oh, against Gyarados. I guess technically. Again, it is technically the, probably the better way. We'd rather just get another 2x instead of more things getting the flat amount, probably. I don't know. It's weird. Ideally, we'd want, like, three and them to perfectly go in the center, but, like, it's just not going to happen. I wouldn't hate another Raichu, though. Eh. That, that's the only thing where it's, like, 
That that does change things a little bit. That's more worth it. I think we can probably say no to this. We do have another removal we can do. What's this 24 above Eevee? Uh... Who knows? Disable the other stones to choose which evolution takes place or to not have all this your stones be destroyed at once. I don't know what the 24 is about. Okay. Waterstone. Yeah, I'm, I'm afraid that these, these ruin things. So I'm not going to do it. Weakness to fire doesn't reduce this typing. Yeah. Gives times two per adjacent Hitmonchan. That's just strictly worse than, like, the Zubats ones. Adjacent Mystery Egg hatches. So he doesn't hatch the other ones. Mobius Strip. We do have this. I'll, just, I'll take it. I don't know what any of their benefits are. But I just want to hatch a... I want to hatch a fossil. Probably ruins things, though, doesn't it? Rock type weaknesses don't reduce this Pokemon's. Truthfully, yeah, we probably don't want it. Probably janks things up more than it helps things. But I kind of just wanted to. It's the rock type of it all. Bye bye. Thanks for <laughs> thanks for being born. Bye bye. I just didn't want to, you know, didn't want to waste it. So let's waste it. Who else do we want to remove? I mean, truthfully, Jinx and um, and Evie, but I would like to see this. I'd like to see Articuno. Even though it's not, like, that big of a deal. Was that the hatch? I think it was the hatch. It was a new, j <laughs> new jinx. Bye-bye. No thank you. I'm good. Show me some more. I want to see some very rares. Maybe I'll chance it and I'll take a, and I'll take an essence. I don't think it'll break everything. Speaking of break everything, uh, new Gyarados just dropped. It's gonna be incredible. <laughs> Mr. Mime gains the type effectiveness of Dark type. Clefairy is rare. And Clefable is, what, also rare? 1% chance per spin to add a Moonstone. That's kind of fun. Oh, that's what Clefable has. Yeah, I feel like I see the I see the merit to, like, Snorlax only. Uh, skip a... Crabby do that. Crabat. Probably could have ditched the electrode sometime soon here. I haven't rolled past a water stone, have I? Is this Eevee just counting? I think it's just like counting up, telling me how many spins that I've uh, not been able to evolve it. But it's giving. Wait, Eevee gives 10 at a base? No. So then why are you getting increased value up to 10? Ah. Even more confusing. It multiplies your 6 into 10? What's happening? Somebody else, someone else nerfs it back down by 1. Then that's the only case. I mean, there's the Squirtle. Come on. 
I'm gonna, I'll take an essence to see severe rage. At this point, if we crash, we crash. We're, we obviously, like, win by all accounts. Like, there's no doubt. Like, if you lose playing this mod, I guess I'm not sure what you're doing. Because, like, I guess you would just have to fundamentally misunderstand the, the, the type advantage mechanics. We want to take every single Magikarp. Even the Seeking uh, is technically less value long term. Ooh. All right, we could crash here. Just to to be clear, frozen pizza. Sure, let's find out. Golden carrot. Sure. Type effectiveness of fairy, but not its weaknesses. Interesting. And he's dead. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, what do you expect with this freaking mod? What the hell, dude? Type effectiveness of steel, but not the weaknesses. I'll tell you what, I'm going to save my rerolls. I could take another Pikachu. It could be kind of fun. Let me say no. I'm going to save my rerolls for when we proc Golden Carrot and hope it doesn't break the game. Oh, oh, oh. Skipper. Skipper. We're looking for the magic card. I just want to, like, I want to summon an Articuno. I want to see kind of. Right now, I'm just wanting to play around with the game and, and, like, with the mod and see what else we can get up to. Another Magnemite. Another magic card for sure. Uh, probably. <laughs> Give six, but it could give none. But it also could give the most. If, if all we're doing is trying to find the biggest one explosion blast, like, Electrode is the way to go. It's it's gambling. That's fine. So, yeah. Technically, what if all we want is one big spin, we want Electrode and... Lo Oof. This is the... This isn't the carrot... Oh. Type effectiveness of all of those, but not the weaknesses. I guess I could take that instead. Rerolling doesn't give me a guaranteed other very rare. So I could just get a I could get a five value every turn. It also, I think that the fire type. In this mod, I think that the fire would beat the ice, even though it's weak to the water. It beats the fire, beats the steel. I don't know. This is kind of fun. Oops. Kind of messes stuff up in a fun way. Okay, we, we get the guaranteed very rare in a moment here. Here's the guaranteed very rare, theoretically, unless it don't work with the mod. Another Porygon? We don't need another Porygon. Tell me what that... I need a Lapras. Axe has a wild card. Honestly, that's not even that great. I'll take it. One of these days. I wanted to find that Lapras there. I don't know. What are we doing now? Do we just go off camera a moment until we find like a full board of uh, gear doses to go with the freaking Porygon, I guess, at this point? Porygon? Because it's one less than the... Uh, it's one less than the Electro, but we get it every single time. Does it matter? I don't know. It's a tough gig. What's better, one big funny number or very consistent, hilariously big number as well? I'll take dishwasher. It seems like it didn't break things. Guillotine. I'll take it. I shouldn't take it. I'll, I'll turn it off. It's the water stone. That's an evolution. Here's to see what it does. 
don't anticipate it's... Gives times two per adjacent water. Oh, and it gives five at a base. I mean, it's pretty good, but, like, it also just doesn't... It just doesn't matter, because uh, Gyarados gives four times effectiveness. It's a, it's a 4x multiplier. <laughs> like, like, I don't know what to say, dude. It's a 4x multiplier. The obvious ideal is... Full Gyarados, one, I don't know, I guess Electrode until we find something, I don't know, I don't know, maybe Zapdos, maybe Zapdos has something, not sure, if there's anything else that has like even better like ability to take advantage of this, I'm trying to think, that has a special typing because of the weird way that this works. Who knows? But I'll be back with something. Well, well, well. What have we here? It's just a normal truck. How do I... Oh my. It's just a normal truck? What do we mechanically need to do to, uh, to get the Mew? Okay, hold on. We're gonna get the very rares. We're obviously looking for Lapras. Gains the type effectiveness of rock, but not its weaknesses. I mean, hey, I mean, we're, we're taking that for the the Articuno just to just to see it. Like, I don't even really want it, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. it's beautiful. Yeah, ice mastery. Its ice type weakness doesn't reduce its value. I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad. I mean, like... Ice... Is there something... Is there a Pokemon in Gen 1 that is four times weak to ice? I don't know. Or at least four times weak to... Uh, Articuno. There's gotta be. If only Tropius was here. With the the way the system works, Tropius would would give me massive value here from Articuno. It'd be four times effectiveness, and then technically the flying versus the grass. Yeah, you know, grass flying would be amazing for us. Boop, bop, 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 bop. Oh yeah, we gotta figure out what to do with the suspicious truck here. I don't know, man. All right, probably just come back when we have something else. Like, could we make something cool out of a freaking Articuno? Probably. I'm gonna save up my rerolls, but I think truthfully we just want to remove everything and just. Do the funny Gyarados thing. Aha! I found what I'm going to do. Or I'm going to try to do. Porygon, Jolteon, Electabuzz gives us the Zapdos. That's the plan now, man. That's the plan. We're going to... I'm going to... I'll be back when I have that. All right. We got Jolteon, which is basically Raichu, but with one more value. Elect the buzz, which gets the type value of uh, fighting, which sure. And then, of course, we get our Zapdos. Bada bing, bada boom. So final goal will be Zapdos and uh, the rest of the stuff filled out with uh, Gyarados. Lowercase g, Gyarados. I'll be back with that. Just for the curious, this here is what Moltres' value is for the curious. And because I'm sure people were curious, I grabbed a Charmander to turn it into this. So that's what that does. It's not going to stay, but that's what that does. Almost done. All right. Got it about as, probably about as good as I can here. We got Zapdos. We got the telescope essence. So it's going to be adjacent to everything. And we've got the swapping device. So we'll be able to swap it for an extra 2x value. So that is what we're going to do right here. Oops. Uh, all right. Swappa. I mean, it doesn't matter, but Swappa. Pretty good. Kind of what I thought, you know? 
thought we might hit that. But alas, alas, that is that. Let's get to it here for today. That's luck be a champion. There, you know, I'll try and remember to put the mod link up at the top. But again, a huge thank you to uh, to Beast257 as well for figuring out the workaround to make Vanilla Be Gone work. That seems like it should potentially help with any mod that needs Vanilla Be Gone, like to remove some stuff. So theoretically with that in mind, like we should be able to play around with other mods and turn off just some symbols, theoretically, if we want to. But again, as I've been saying, I don't know entirely uh, how much more luck the landlord we got. I do know it, it's kind of funny. It's funny timing because... As of today, as of this video going out, Luck Be A Landlord is finally hitting 1.0. However, I do know that um, there's not supposed to be any new content in 1.0. If there is new content in 1.0, I'll give it a look. But otherwise, I think we may be soon donezo, uh, which is sad. But also, it's like, hey, I don't know. I feel like I'm, I'm done. I've done everything I want to do in vanilla, and we're kind of we're sort of working through the mods uh, that I that seem you know solid enough. This one is wild. Like this one is unhinged. Like when I say this one is solid, I'm not sure. I would say that it is a fun concept, and that I like Pokemon. Those are two things that I like. So therefore, it was fun to mess around with this today. Uh, but truthfully, it is it is definitely the least balanced mod we've checked out recently. Uh, that is for sure. Like, even the, what would be the close second? I would say maybe the scientist, but that really only got broken after uh, the landlord fight, which if something gets broken after the landlord fight, it's sort of like, who cares? You know? Because that's like, that's not really how you should battle, care about balancing things out. Either way. Alas, alas. That is that. That's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel for roguelikes and more every single day. Uh, yeah. It's been, in case this is the final Luck Be Landlord video, like, as always, just, it's been real, it's been fun, I've been, I've really enjoyed it, it's been such a, such a pleasure coming back to it, it's, it's hit me harder this time, like, I've played it a, a bunch of times in the past, like, for a little bit, it never clicked, like, extremely, like, I liked it, I was like, yeah, I like Luck Be a Landlord, but now I'm like, okay, I really like Luck Be a Landlord, it's a very solid game that I recommend to anybody who likes roguelikes, uh, but yeah, thank you, thank you. And I will see you next time. Bye.